Hello, hello, hi everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to NDC London. My name is Teresa. I'm a software engineer at JP Morgan and Chase. Uh, today I'll talk about API design for front end engineers. You might be wondering why, why I'm talking about only this for front end engineers. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to explain the ideas through the talk. Right. Very quickly, because this is a, a lightning talk, so I won't be able to go into detail very much, but I will try to explain the ideas of how we should design API uh, for front-end team and also maybe for back-end team as well. So quickly, what is API? So API allows service communication between back-end and front-end team. It's a set of rules uh, explain how application communicate with each other. It hides implementation details and it's basically interface for your external and your internal users. And the, the idea here is that we should think about API first. So we think about API as a first class citizen. We think about API as a product. We use API as a contract. API is always before code. And one of the stories here is this is something I've learned through when I work on project, from project, is um, usually back and team are the one produce the API. So the other one who is looking after API design and implementing API as well, and maintaining, updating it. In the end, what they do is they just through API, through some URL to the front end engineer saying, use it. And yes, of course, we will be using it, but sometimes things might break in production and a lot of errors or um, different situations are due to the reason that front-end engineers are not part of the API design. We are kind of just using it, but we actually not um, part of designing the API. So what would happen as if you are thinking of API first in your agile world? So if, let's say, right, we work in a squad, or we work in a cross-function team, right? So usually we have an epic, right? And, and, and it's ready. The next thing is we do some brainstorming, analyze, solutionize, right? Through um, story mapping. And what could happen next is, okay, now backend team will take the ideas and the feature and they will start working on the implementation of the API while front-end team will also use this feature, work on the story, maybe mock some data as well, working on the UI product. And very usually, you might hear the front-end engineer complain, saying, ah, I'm blocked by back-end team. Or I finished my feature, but back-end team ha hasn't finished the implementation yet. So now I'm waiting. And then you can deliver the product. And maybe the missing piece here is not that front-end team was blocked by back-end. It's because we are missing the design together. So think about after the story mapping, you know the feature already. We can actually sit down together and design the API with back-end team. And then in the end, we will have some test cases, some documentation for the front-end engineer to work with. And because by this point, we design the API together, we know the contract in detail, and we can use mock data as well, but very likely, very unlikely, the data will change. So once you work on the UI product with this mock API or mock contract, you can actually um, assume this will be what you receive in the end after backend team has implementing it. So, Follow this path, both teams can work in parallel instead of using the work waterfall um, style. So if we are going to design API, few good practices that we can think of uh, in mind is the URL structure, the, uh, the request method, the error handling, versioning, pagination. And what do I mean for each of them? So when we think about API design, uh, look at the URL structure. We look. We will. The recommendation is to always use none, and use the query as well. Make sure that your URL is in a certain amount of uh, a length, and any uh, breaking change that it will uh, change the behavior or um, a, a valid 
violating some of the rules should be kept to minimum or well communicated beforehand. Just don't deploy something uh, like you know overnight that break the front end project uh, straight away. And when you design API, think about the versioning as well. So this might be something that you design before the project starts, but this might be something you also wanted to do uh, during the project. Maybe you want to introduce a new version of the API, so you might think about how do I version it, right? Can I use a query? Should I use content negotiation? Do I you embed it, it in pass, or do I just add that in the header? Make sure that you, you, you choose one set of versioning. Don't mix um, things up, uh, at least in one of the versions of, of your API. Follow one uh, strategy through. And in your, uh, when you're delivering a feature, design the API, think about should this function be a get or should that be a post? Do I use a patch? Because I just need to update a source a resource partially. Or should I use a put? Which one is more efficient, giving me more optimization? And am I going to use the search with a new function from the um, HTTP, whatever is the best um, in, your, in your feature. And next, think about how do we handle error? What should be the status code? Again, this would be something you agree with your both of your team before the project starts, right? Think about, am I using the standard status code? Do I come up with something unique, uh, something more suitable for my project? Is my project lo uh, locally um, published, or do I think about international in the future? What would be the best case to handle error if I, have, if I provide multiple language in the future? Again, and more, um, think about API design. How do I make my API more uh, optimized for the front-end product, right? Do I um, use nested API call? Should I merge everything in one API call and return a, a, a set of source to the front-end um, app? Do I do pagination instead of loading a lot of resource at a time? Do I do filtering in backend or do I allow a front-end team to actually handle filtering? Do I sort? Where do I sort? How do I sort? All those things, right? That's where you can um, think about and talk with between both teams. So the goal here, when we talk about API design, API first, is we need to design API as our user experience because um, the front-end product evolving through time. It, it changes a lot, but the API should be very stable. So it, once you design it, it should most likely be the, be the same. Right, so once you done API design, and then you start implement your project, the next thing, please don't avoid this, is to think about how do I test my API. There are different ways that you can test your API. So usually this part is in the middle of the service test, which form roughly 15, 20% of your project. Um, you do happy and unhappy pass here. So you can do API test, contract test, integration, acceptance test, all those will actually somehow test uh, different degrees of your API design. But I will talk a bit more about contract test here. So what is contract testing? It's actually faster than end-to-end -end test. It tests API instead of uh, the mock on a device. And it basically enables that any breaking change would be captured early. And it makes sure that a service can communicate with each other, right? And again, very briefly how things work. So for both team, right, backend team, uh, which is a provider, front-end team is the consumer. The way they do uh, a uh, contract testing, if you use a library called a pact, right? It's actually very similar um, I comparing when you do unit test. Um, very, very similar. But what makes contract testing be unique and faster as well, you have this thing in the middle called broker. So your front and the team, the consumer, would run the test, generate a report, and upload it to the broker for the backend team to verify against the data. That means if things changed by the backend team, 
that the basically the you will see the broken uh, point as well. So you'll be notified much, much earlier instead of um, notify this change in production. So that's um, my talk for today. If I mean, have any question, uh, we can talk uh, after this talk. And uh, yeah, you can also send me a message as well. Thank you. <laughs>